think, what? I think he's, <laughs> no, he's having a good time with it. He's like, dude, I have so much time. <laughs> oh my God. They're not gonna catch me anytime soon. Let me just have fun with it. I think so. I think if you slid off a ledge like that, you would come out top heavy and you would end up like, yeah, belly flopping on the ground. On that, part. that is what I love most about scene parkour in games and video games when you're like, okay, people can do that. I can do that. She yeah. can do that. Okay, oh, so gosh. I've never played the game. I've only ever seen clips of it online. I didn't know that like, there's this whole backstory yeah, that goes I've into I've actually it. seen clips of this before too, but I, I also did not think this was a game. Yeah, it's a game. I'm sorry to everyone. <laughs> this is cool. I like how like old school, like retro. Yeah, look at this like the body movement. Like breathing. futuristic. This this makes me want to make detail. like a like a sci-fi like parkour escape film or something like that. I know, and I guess this one everyone's in mind control, and then someone breaks free. Oh no, he can't handle it. Yeah, he can't take it anymore. He's trying to break free he's, from the mind control. He's working control. in a nine to five. Oh no. Oh my god. <laughs> the horror. <laughs> This is amazing! Breaks away from That's it. That's a oh. really cool shot. Oof. Oh no! They're like, go, go, go! Bring him down! Trap the guy! The enforcers are coming after him. Okay. Oh, All he right, ripped the tie off! Tie. Oh, okay. And the See, that, that's like Superman stance right there. This is so epic! He breaks through the- Oh! Through the glass! Snap! That's practical. I mean, like, to cover your face. Okay. Oh, the, oh the feet together. Okay, oh, oh, no, yeah, all right. Wow. It was good. <laughs> he was going to do like a pre, like a precision landing, oh. and then he separated his feet. Oh, okay. Oh, snap. This, this is, is so this sick. This is, I, I like this. Oh, yeah, the that's diver, okay, What's the, the thing? Like, the is he wearing a scarf or something? Yeah, I think he's wearing a scarf. The this dive is dive roll. Oh, the climb up. All right, call the, the, call, oh. call the moves then as you're calling them. Climb all right, up. Wall all right. climb, climb up. Slide. Oh, baseball slide. Uh, Precision pre jump. Okay, all right. Oh, oh I guess B360. That was dope. <gasps> okay. Oh, oh, dive roll, that's beautiful. Usually dive rolls are best when you're for doing large jumps because- He's moving so fast. I know, right? I can't keep up with it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna focus on this one because this one's really big because in parkour, like parkour video games specifically, is that when people do large jumps in the game, the character just takes the impact, which is not practical. But this guy right here did a really large jump Landed and did a roll to disperse. We the, love the roll. We, yeah, love the we love the parkour roll. roll. We always he just did a this. front flip from roof to roof. Oh my goodness! This is okay. Where's the stamina bar? Where's the where's the where's the stamina we, we don't meter? Need a stamina. This is what I. This is the, what I need. At that energy, how long could you do legit parkour? Let's say you had a big straight line of obstacles. How long could you go for before you just like could not go any further? I'm gonna say. 30 seconds. Yeah, like red so so a lot of major parkour competitions where they will have people do a line of parkour like, mm -hmm. you know, throw as many cool tricks as they can in a short amount of time. Yeah. Most people don't go over 20 seconds. Not yet. 30 seconds this is a lot. Is a lot, but like this is when I'm not even doing a parkour comp, but 15 seconds is what they actually give in comps. Because at the, at some point you 15 just 15 seconds. 15 seconds. That's a long time. Yeah. People that go 30 40 seconds those are like the stamina God, champions God, of parkour, parkour competitions. As cool as that is, that is so ridiculously exhausting yeah. to be able to do that many dynamic moves back to back to back to back with no break and there, whatsoever. And this is a full, like... Full tilt. Full tilt, yeah. yeah. Oh, even if you're running calm. for your life, even if you're running from the enforcer I mean, the adrenaline maybe would give you another 10, 15 Look seconds. Look at him, he's oh, so now fast. He's Look at that stride. Yo, this game is I like amazing. How he, I like how he like pushes his chest <gasps> forward. The dash and the, the, the speed ball. This is so cool. Have you seen the Jason Paul Red Bull parkour video? So he's just doing parkour on this train and they have a camera tracking him and he looks like a video game character and it like, it is Vector. It looks like Vector in real life. Oh, he oh did a gator! Oh my gator. god! I would have rolled out of that landing, but th that was still sick. Why? And even like it's the- It's like a monkey. Even the accuracy of the jump, like when you jump, of course, like aiming and control of your body is very important. And that is very accurate. Oh! Good roll, good roll. So we're seeing dive Kongs. That's where he's diving forward with his hands and then kind of pulling his body through. That's one of the staple movements of parkour. We can both do that move. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Like, oh, he almost over-rotated. Yeah, that was I close. That. 
I saw that. Usually also this one I've seen, he did a climb up and then immediately jumped after that. That's Usually, tough. That's really that's tough. tough. That's like, that requires a lot of power. Yeah. Because you're already putting a lot of energy to even get over or get even on top of the on wall. On top of the wall. But to even gather your energy to even give another burst to go to the next platform is very difficult. Not impossible. I said- He, he just did a, he just did a screwdriver call. Yeah, he just did. Or a, was that a, a Kong 360, 360 Kong? Diver, that know. was sick. Wow. This oh, guy is really good. He said backflip, it's actually gainer, they were wrong. For, speaking for myself, like I can do a majority of these moves, mm -hmm. but it's just, again, the constant chaining of one move and then two and then three and then four. What I love about this is that, you know, there is that parkour cool. and then there's free running, right? Free running adds like a lot of really cool flips into this. I mean, the this one- The style and the flair. Yeah, the style and the flair, but this one is just strictly parkour. And you can see how amazing it is because like the body is just so beautiful in movement and it's flow that sometimes like, you know, flips are not necessary. I mean, he does a backflip, he does a front flip and does a gainer, but those are like the basics. But once you see- Oh, the guy's catching up to him. Oh my God. Sorry. He's, he's being chased? Yeah, okay, he's being chased he's being by the chased. enforcers. They're trying That's to right. get him back into a nine to five. That's right. <laughs> oh, you just have to try, but in a safe, oh yeah, safely manner. You know, you start on the ground. You can see like just standing how far you can jump. And then you probably might see like maybe two leveled platforms still close to the ground to see like, like a, a curb to another curb or yeah. like in a parking lot like the little parking like little curbs that cars park in front of like jumping yeah. between parking curbs but essentially you don't know what your power is until you test it that's essentially what it is i mean of course like once you start training parkour more often you start to know what your distance is but actually what i've learned recently is that I don't know what it is mentally, it's kind of a really cool thing, is that if you look at a jump, if you look at a gap, and you immediately think, I could do this, then you, your body and your mind, they all come they're together. Connected. Like, they're connected. They're right, connected, you right. can do it. He's striding. Purple roll. Okay. That was a low front flip. That right, was a right, really right. low that front. Con controlled. See, like, yeah, the distance, gauging your distance and understanding how far to jump. Whoa! Oh my Whoa, God. baseball slide Whoa. to like, cat splat. The floor just opened. Man, this makes me want to go like find an obstacle course and. Usually, when people run, like, okay, why would you? Sl oh, okay. I think so. I think if you slid off a ledge like that, you would come out top heavy, and you would end up like yeah. belly flopping on the ground. I would have jumped on that part. Oh. Oh, he's like That's unlocking new rooms. That's cool. See, this one is practical because, like, you're. I mean. That's the, a big the, drop. The That's not practical. The distance, not. But I'm saying, like, right now, what they're doing here is that he's just jumping without any momentum far jumps, which is not practical. You need a little, you need momentum to, to at least get you to the, to your furthest point of where you're trying to go. Did he escape? Did he win? I hope so. He got away. He got out of the nine to five. Good job. Overall though, I think these movements in Vector, very 100% practical. These look so I, good. These are based on real parkour moves that like we can do. That is what I love most about seeing parkour in games and video games. It's when it is grounded in reality. When you're like, okay, people can do that. I can do that. She yeah. can do that. That's that's what makes me love this so much is that a lot of this is very possible. Why? He is just a did triple? a triple side flip. He just did a triple. What the frick? <laughs> I thought this was parkour. What was that? Everything that we've seen has been like, okay, Kong, normal, front flip, sure, like, <laughs> back flip, sure, gainer, double Kong. And they didn't even- Triple play. side flip? Did he even get points for that? That was- How did he get points for that? That was crazy. Oh, 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 look, tax, tax, tax. Oh, oh that was sick. That layout, like, die front that he did. What's a swallow? He just ran into the wall. Oh, oh, but, So oh. we call that a cat to cat where you kind of, or like a wall climb to cat where you like run up one wall and then jump and then turn. I and love run that and jump and turn. so much. The only yeah. thing about this that, that I find unrealistic is the drops that he takes when mm. he does big jumps. Mm -hmm. Those are a little too big yeah. for humans to take without okay. breaking. A boom boom shoot. Yo, he did Webster, Web, Webster front flip uh, chain combinations. Okay. All right, let's talk about that. Okay, that drop was like a six story drop. But he rolled, <laughs> he would have broken every bone. But here's the thing, I think- Six story drops, your body would explode on impact. <laughs> yeah, 
the spot in Australia where the um the the the, the, the Pawson brothers, the right? The Pawson brothers, yeah. So the movement that was just done in vector going from cat to cat, which is what we're looking at right now. This move is very uh, was done by actually both uh, both of them, both, I think. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're twins and they do parkour. The amount of back and forth they had to do with it, it's think crazy. About five it's crazy. Or six it's times. crazy. The fact of the matter is, it took them very long to do. It's it's not it's something when you, you look at it and you think that's not possible. Yeah. A human cannot possibly bounce between these two walls yeah. and climb because they're Go marble. Up. They're like marble yeah. walls. They're not concrete. There's no ledges. Oh, you're right. No, like, it's just one spot. It's just momentum. Yeah. They, they just had to hit the wall just right. And the amount of grip on their shoes that they had to have, the, pre the preparation that they had to go through to even do that because gra gravity is not going to stop. Gravity is always going to be Yeah. There. This is so cool though. I'm so glad that we're looking at this. Good like, job, chat. Like, Good job recommending yeah, this. Yeah, thank you so much for this awesome recommendation. Really though. If, if you've got other stuff you want us to check out, please just leave them in the comments below and Prince maybe it'll happen. Persia. Prince of Persia, is that what you said? Prince of Persia, I'm Prince Persia. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Slow spin. Oh, okay. Let fly away. We like that. That was a nice fly away. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, see, that's three, not possible. Four, five, six, seven, right. eight. So that's not realistic no. because every time he's getting the same amount of height off of each push. Yeah, it's super cool yeah. for a video game. But in terms of real realism, gravity would start winning that battle. Every jump, he would get less and less height and you're off losing of the walls. power as well okay well now he's in like they're in a forest now Yo, they're just they're running. running so fast like they're wasting so much energy just to capture one guy like focus on every other right person, guys. Like, like leave him alone how about dude. you look at your like your internal customer service you know the the culture that you're creating with the workplace environment yeah, like you know, rather than like you know like screw this guy you know let him be free yeah this is be free they man. need to look inwards 360 wall, wall, wall cling. Yeah, see that, like 360 cat. Come it, on, it'd be a 360 cat. Yeah, who's naming these things? Yeah, come that, that's come talk only... to us. Come talk to us. Vector 2. I don't know how many That's the only are. thing I would actually like criticize. I mean, like there was one that we, just, we did like a, a layout front flip and they called it a swallow. I call it like a swan and or then, like a diver. And then the flyaway, they called it a slow spin. Yeah, come talk to us. Let's, let's talk terminology, you know? I, I don't Has there been any like new vector game? Or this is it, like vector? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either. Comments, comments down below. Let me know. Oh wow! Oh, <laughs> okay. Did no. he do a just a triple pike or something? He, he did a round off. He did a round back, off backflip. Round off triple backflip. I know. Not. I I'm know. sorry. If you were running for your life. I think, I think he's, <laughs> no, he's having a good time with it. He's like, dude, I have so much time. <laughs> oh my God. They're not going to catch me anytime soon. Let me just have fun with it. A cheat gainer. Oh, oh he, did, he, did, he did a swing gainer over a what? gap. All right. If you're chasing someone and you're trying to capture them and they're like so confident and cocky that they're doing a round off triple backflip and still getting away from you, time. don't you just give up at that point? You're like, you know what? I'm not catching this guy. I'm gonna go back home, but I've now run for ten miles chasing right. this guy. So, but in reality, if you are being chased, <laughs> and the most practical thing to do is not do a flip, is not do a cork or a triple backflip <laughs> or a triple side flip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first of all, we want to thank the comment section on Gameology thank you guys. for thank recommending you. this game for us to react to because we had a great that time That was so doing cool. It. That was so cool. Honestly, it was really fun. I can't believe I didn't know this was a game. Yeah, seriously. I um, might just start playing it, honestly. I am so sorry about that, but it was really cool. And to look at these movements, I really think pretty much all of them are pretty practical Very, to like, do. very real, very, like, yes, totally. <laughs> Thank you for recommending this. If you have other things you want us to check them out, like actually please leave them in the comments below. We do. I read like every comment on the videos. Like we respond, yeah. we respond to you guys We're when active. we can. And if you want to check out more Gameology, check them out on Facebook and YouTube and we'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Sarah. And I'm Omar Zaki. Peace out.